I'm Nairi, I'm running this adoption channel and I have two adopted sons myself and I want to talk to you today about what I think are the essential elements before you go into adoption, like five things I think you really have to have and they're non-negotiable. There's so many things that you could do with but I think these five things are what you really need. So the first thing I would say to you is you need time and that is something that maybe people would assume that everybody thinks about they need but in a kind of society where we're rushing around, very busy making money, making our houses look nice and all those things, sometimes we forget how much time children actually take away from all of those things. And I'm not gonna say necessarily adopted children take more time, but I think sometimes they can. So if they come with levels of trauma, they'll certainly come with the need to attach to you and to bond to you and that's going to take time and they might well come with more appointments needed around social workers and going to doctor's appointments and stuff like that so you can't really do this unless you're prepared to sacrifice some of your time and that might well mean looking at your work schedule and being really brutal around that so thinking about how are you going to actually work this when a new child comes into your home the second one that i think is essential is you need to have the energy for a child so some people sort of ask is it okay to go into adoption with disability and the answer to that is yes is it okay to go into adoption you know having things wrong with me and the answer to that is yes it is i think the overall arching theme is is do you have the energy do you have the energy for a child so if it's a baby do you have the energy and the health to be able to cope with a, a baby and the demands that a baby will have at night and during the day and do you have the energy and the health to cope with a child both when they first come which will be very demanding but also as they grow older and through into adulthood so a level of health is needed that's the second thing the third thing is I think some people may go into adoption with rose tinted glasses and it's almost like the thing to do. Now, I'm sure there aren't many people like that, but I do think that if you're gonna adopt, you have to go into it knowing that you have a real desire to love a child and that it's not just that you're going to have a child, that you're gonna go into it and you're gonna have this love for a child. Now, you don't know this child yet, but you need this kind of like burning passion that you are going to love an adopted child and um, it kind of needs to be innate within you. You can't go into it lightly. It's a bit like when you hear during marriage vows, it's not to be taken lightly. And that's what I'd say about adoption. It has to be something that you really examine in your heart that you're gonna be able to uh, really go into this with a lot of love in your heart. That's number three. Number four is, and um, possibly, I would say the most crucial of all is resilience. So, any parent that has a new child needs a level of resilience, yes. But I think for adoption, you need to have more resilience because you're gonna go through quite a grueling process, first of all, tick. You're gonna to have to explain this to friends and family, tick. You're going to need to deal with whatever comes with the birth family, however upsetting and emotional that is, and whatever history that looks like for the child, tick. And you may well have to deal with, if you're not adopting a baby, although that doesn't actually negate this, but you may well have to deal with behaviours and difficulties when the child comes in, tick. So you need resilience and also you're not in this for the short term you're in this for the long haul so it's not like fostering where children move on adoption very much is they have your name your rights they become as if you'd given birth to that child so resilience is my fourth point and my fifth point is you need the resources so you need a level of financial stability you need a house that can accommodate a child so some people sort of might question well how much money do you need how much space do you need and you know i'm going to say that's going to depend on where you are what country you're in in america you may have to pay hefty fees in britain you will hardly have to pay anything toward adoption there is not really any real cost to it so that is a big difference in the starting point 
but you still need to count that cost financially and sit down and know in your country in your area what it's going to be and it's not just about that it's not just about the adoption fees it's about the long term for a child and what finances you're going to need and you don't need to give this child everything but you need to know who's going to be bringing the earnings in where the money's going to come from and that you're stable and you need to have a house that's adaptable for a child most places will say you need to have a spare bedroom for the child and they're not going to be able to share that might not be everywhere but most places will say that so your house needs to have that space for a child and you need to think about are you going to be able to afford to buy the resources that a child or a baby needs um, or you're going to be constantly worrying about money so that's my fifth point as well so i hope you find that very basic video helpful if you're thinking of adopting then it's a good place to start but if you're interested in adoption and all things relating to adoption processes uh, resources needed uh, adoption and bonding therapeutic play uh, parenting then that you can find on my channel so i look forward to seeing you there thank you